Hi there, it's Cindy Summer. Good to be back with some videos on helping you through life. So today I wanna to talk about black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is one of those crystals that honestly, I don't think you can have enough of. I have a whole box at home and these are good for so many different things. Um, can you buy them individually? Of course, but you can buy a box at a time you can clean them through sage. Um, you could put them in the sun. You can run them underwater, whatever you choose. And then place them around the perimeter of your home. You could put them in the windowsills. Um, you can also put them along your property line for purposes of protection. So black tourmaline is this little stone right here. It's just a real simple, um, it's just, it's very basic, very plain. You can wear it on your person, um, around your neck as a bracelet, as a ring, um, or you can have loose stones. So like I said, I wear it on my person frequently, but I also have them placed around the home and around my office. And you might ask, well, why? It's a protection stone and it's a grounding stone. So protection from what? Protection from negative energy, protection um, from other people's energies, protection from EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies. Um, so, you know, cell phones, right? Um, electricity, um, cables, anything like that. Um, Aquariuses, you Aquarians have a high tendency to be affected by EMFs as well as anybody that is an empath. So definitely get a bunch of these and put them on different levels of, of your home, the upstairs, the downstairs, um, and they really do serve a nice purpose. They also are a fabulous grounding stone. Um, now, grounding is more than just saying a prayer and holding a stone. You know, this is a tool, um, and it's not the end-all, be-all of, uh, of getting grounded. Grounding has palpable sensations in the feet, in the hands, in the body. But I will say it's a nice tool to help you do that. So, if you are trying to get grounded, which is going to, by virtue of itself, going to clear you of negative emotion. Um, it's going to calm you down. It's good for anxiety. It's good for depression. And it's good for everyday living. If you're an empath, you need to be grounding every day. All right? Very important. Um, getting centered. Um, so if you are right-handed, and just like any other crystal, if you're right-handed, if that's your dominant hand, you place the crystal in the left hand, okay? The receiving hand. If you're left-handed, you put it in the right hand. You allow the, the crystal to vibrate um, into, it, it'll basically, you'll feel the vibration if you're sensitive enough. You'll feel it in the hand, you'll feel it go up the arm. Now I'm exceedingly sensitive, I feel everything. So I'm probably not the best example, but even if you don't feel it, allow it to resonate with your body and then ask it again i know this sounds hokey but these are intelligent frequencies it's an intelligent vibration you ask it for help you ask it for help all right so try that for grounding for protection for feeling centered my name is cindy summer i'm a spiritual counselor here to help you with your life i deal with a lot of relationship stuff, career, health, family, um, life path, and of course, working with Dearly Departed. So you can find my website at cindysummer.com. That is how you book my services directly. Um, you can also find videos of me, of course, on YouTube. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Take care now.